there's very little benefit from it. Um, we, we always try and kind of identify logical fallacies, you know, one of the things that, you know, people use, the little tricks and techniques that people use to try and convince you of stuff that doesn't exist. And I thought that the one that we'd use, that we, we mentioned um, this month was the no true Scotsman fallacy. I don't know if you're, if you're aware of what the no true Scotsman fallacy is. It basically says, you know, you know, all Scotsmen uh, eat haggis. And then somebody points out, well, my brother John is from Glasgow and he doesn't eat haggis. And then they say, well, your brother John is not a true Scotsman. And it kind of goes on like that, you know. So, and I just came across them. Um, uh, this is a man who exploited the liberties of a democracy to true. kill his fellow Norwegians. That, is, that trial should be done in, in this broad, uh, wide open uh, public arena as possible, in my opinion. Well, I have a couple of thoughts. You say exploited democracy. I mean, I understand many of your police officers don't even carry guns. I don't know if that necessarily speaks that it's a democracy. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I do have this question for you. So, as I said, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, with the, the definition of the democracy is uh, now, you know, a, a government that carries guns all over the place. Okay. Um, if you, you know, there's a lot of stuff, and logical fallacies are a huge basic basis behind an awful lot of stuff in skepticism, trying to understand where arguments, you know, are made. And I definitely recommend this site, which is called the Skeptics Dictionary, um, skeptic.com, as a resource for a huge amount of information.